Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Airgun Only Adventures. After a great flight, we are back in South Africa again for another safari. Like always, when we arrive in South Africa, it's an amazing place to enjoy, to sightsee, the different plants that we get to see, the different scenery, the sunsets, and all the different animals that we get a chance to encounter and see. South Africa is definitely a hunter's paradise. This time I'm going to be using my FX 30 caliber impact air rifle and we're going to be going after the common diker. There's several different subspecies of the common diker and they range from about 30 to 55 pounds. They're a very elusive little antelope and they are very exciting to hunt. Most of the time when we get a chance at a diker, we see a glimpse of them on the hillside. We try to make a stock on them. A lot of times you never see them again. They're so small, the tall grass over there in South Africa hides them. Started out with a good morning this morning. We got out here and started glassing for Stenbuck and Diker. We've got a Diker pair on the other side of the draw over here. Today I'm gonna be using my FX Impact. I got the 30 caliber barrel in it. Let's go see if we can get a Diker with it. All right, let's go. On this trip, we were working our way up a road. It was on the edge of what I call a canyon or a ravine. And my guide kept telling me we're gonna ease up this kloof. So here I am being a redneck from America, I'm looking for a cliff. You know, I figure that's just their accent. Well, I was wrong. In South Africa, a little draw or a canyon, they call it a kloof. So here we are working our way up this kloof and glassing and stopping as we went. Got into a lot of warthogs. We got to see a bunch of warthogs, got in pretty close on those. As we continued on, we were seeing hyrax, we were seeing everything but diker. And we had about a mile and a half hike all the way up to the end of this kloof. All of a sudden, my guide, Rob Dale, said, stop, stop, stop. And lo and behold, there's a diker feeding. He's got his head in a bush. We can't tell what it is, if it's a male or a female, if it's a big enough male to harvest. I'm down on one knee, got the shooting sticks out. I'm getting ready, waiting on everything to happen. Rob gives me the go ahead. The wind was atrocious this day. So I had to give it a little bit of wind for my impact 30 caliber. I pulled the trigger, perfect shot. The diker goes down, jumps up, runs off to the side. Boy, was I excited. I knew my diker was down. I knew I placed the shot correctly. We wanted to turn the tracking dog out. Rob's training a new dog on this. So we turned him loose to go do his job. And boy, Buckley went right out there, found my diker right off the bat. We went over to him, beautiful ram, full mature ram. Looking him over, we're looking for the shot. Absolutely perfect right through the heart. He only went about 50 to 60 yards and piled up. The FX impact with its surgical precision placed that pellet right where it needed to be. And that heavy 30 caliber pellet bucked the wind. I didn't have too much hold off, did its job. I'll tell you what, hunting these little antelope in Africa, I could go back there just to hunt the little antelope, the stenbuck and the dikers, the many different kinds of them. I've taken lots of big animals in my life but hunting these animals with an air gun, there's something about it. I don't know what it is. It's amazing. Now it's time to head back to the lodge. So I grabbed my diker, threw him over my shoulders, packed him out back to the truck. We always enjoy sitting around the pub in the evening, recapping the day and the adventures of all the other hunters. And one of my friends that booked a hunt with us at Hanslow Safaris, he was using a 22K Hornet firearm and he was lucky enough to take a diker. A lot of people go to Africa and never even get to see a diker. Jerry took his shot on his diker at about 65 yards, put him down right where he stood. So we relax at the pub and around the grill, waiting for our dinner to be cooked and enjoy the stories of the previous hunts. Africa is an absolute beautiful place to go. The experience is above and beyond all. I've hunted all over the United States, and I can tell you, the African experience leaves you wanting more. Until next time, shoot straight and hit your target.